said the word with a shudder. Behind him, the girl laughed. Well, this will teach you a lesson. He said, once you've been in surgery, there will be no more bad behavior from you. Boris forced his feet to move down the hall. He knew there was no hope for him. Seven years ago, he had committed a crime. It was a crime so terrible that even he could not believe that he had done it. Now he was in prison for the rest of his life. He was trapped like an animal in a cage. He could not face it any longer. That's why he had tried to escape. It had been just after sunset. He was all alone in the courtyard. The girl who was supported to there had made a mistake. He had left Boris alone. Boris had run for the wall like an animal. He had climbed up and was almost over. Then he had heard the words, Freeze prisoner, and he had frozen. That was just yesterday. Now he was headed to an even worse cage. You don't have to put me in surgery. Boris said to the girl in a scared voice, I'll never try them again. I promise. The girl just laughed. You learned your lesson. He said again, Maybe they'll let you out after a few months. But you are a tough one. I know what you did to get inside. Mm -hmm. You don't deserve anybody's pity. Mm -hmm. right. Boris felt hopeless. It was no good trying. He would just have to deal with it somehow. They were coming to the end of the halfway. Boris saw the door, the door at the end. He saw the birds buzz across the small window in the door. He knew that this was it. This was it. The others, others had told me, told him, what if, it, what it would be like inside. They were right. The girl unlocked three, ro three locks. Then he swung open the door. He pushed Boris inside. The room was like a pen. It was long. It was long and narrow with one bed. High, high up there was a small window with spurs across it. The wall, walls were of old, rough stone to Boris. Stone to Boris. It felt as if they were closing in on him. His breath started to come in short gasps. His, his heart pounded. Boris turned to the guard. No, he begged. I can't take it here. Let me go back to where I was. I'll never do anything wrong again. You should have thought of the, that earlier, the girl said. Then he slammed the heavy door in Boris's face. Boris reached, reached for the door. He grabbed the balls in his hands and tried, tried to shake them. Okay. You'll be sorry, he yelled after the guard. The guard just looked, up, looked back and laughed. Boris sat down on the bed. He shut his eyes. He didn't, didn't wa want to look around the cell. Mm -hmm. He was afraid that he would lose his mind. Thunder woke Boris from a terrible nightmare. In the, man, in the meantime, blood were running at him, screeching. He opened his eyes. He was afraid the rats were really there. He hates rats more than anything. It was his biggest worry that there might be be lots in solitary. Vo
Boris looked around the cell. It was a lamp, uh, almost dark. Then a flash of lightning, lightning lit, lit up the cell. The light fell on the wall or the head of his bed. In those few seconds of light, Boris saw something that made his heart leap. Heart leap. One of the stones in the wall looked different. There was a thin creek in the cement around it. Boris tried to fight off a new feeling of hope, but he couldn't help himself. Maybe another prisoner has dug around the lock. No one could see the creek unless they were lying on the bed. He had only seen it because of the lightning. His hands were shaking. He reached down and grabbed the large stone. He moved it back and forth. Then suddenly, it came loose. Boris pulled and the log fell forward into his hand. As Boris stared, stared into the hole left by the log, a flash of lightning lit it up. A tunnel stretched before him, with a rat hurrying down into it. Boris jumped back in horror when he saw the rat. He thought about putting the large stone back in place. The another flash of lightning cut through the darkness of the cell. The tunnel lit up in front of him. It, it seemed to welcome him to freedom. Boris measured the size of the tunnel with his eyes. It was narrow and the beginning, but then, it became wider. It looked wide enough for him to crawl through. Another flash of lightning lit up the tunnel. He searched for any sign of the rat. Maybe I didn't see it at all. Boris whispered to himself, maybe it was just shadow of my nightmare. Boris peered into the tunnel, he saw no sign of the rat, but his eyes fell on something else. There was a scrap piece of paper lying on the tunnel floor, near the entrance. Near the entrance. He reached in and pulled it out. He felt it dry surface, the paper was wrinkled with age. He waited impatiently for the lightning to light up the cell again. When it did, he quickly read the, the message on the paper to the next prisoner who find this paper. Boris read, I escaped, I escaped the fora of this cell by this passage. May you share my good luck. The light faded away before Boris could finish reading the message. He sat in the darkness, shaking with fear and hope. The message seemed to be written in a dark red bracket. He guessed that it was the blood of the person who had written it. At last, the lightning, ca the lightning came again. He read on, this is the only way out. The message was signed with two initials, NG. Just then, Boris heard the guard's, guard's footsteps outside his cell. He threw himself over the stone and hole. He pressed his body against the wall. 
he waited as the footprints, a uh, foot footsteps, came to a stop outside his cell. He thought he would scream from the horrible tension. Then foot, the footstep moved away. They slowly drifted down the hallway. Finally, the noise faded into the night. Suddenly, Boris knew that he could not wait any longer. He stuck his head into the tunnel and pushed the rest of his body through. He tried it to look back, but the tunnel was too narrow. There was no turning back now. Boris scaled deeper and deeper into the tunnel. Crawling on, the, on his stomach, he felt like a snake slithered into its hole. He felt the tunnel grow damper and colder. Just as the tunnel began to grow smelly, it opened up and became wider.